Hey there YouTubers, coming today with another unboxing for you. I uh, had ordered some Alien Gear holsters for my Glock 26 and my Taurus uh, Model 85. So we're going to do the unboxing for you. I ordered them on the 30th and I got them today. So it's been I think 6 days. It's been 6 days since I ordered it. I was supposed to have to wait uh, 3 to 4 weeks. So that that's freaking awesome. So here's how it comes in this uh, big Ziploc bag. Here's my piece of leather for the for the Glock 26. There's my uh, in the waistband holster for the 26. Now I guess you just take this uh, Kydex shell off. You bolt it on here, and you've got an outside the waistband holster. Uh, let's see here. This one here I've got for the uh, the Taurus, the uh, Model 85. Pretty damn stiff yet. <clears throat> Whoops. And she, she fits in there. Seems to be, let's see how she goes. I don't know. And then for the, uh, for the 26. Just like that. Alright. Holds it in there pretty good. So I'll wear this today and see how I like it. Hopefully I like it. But so here pretty soon I'll have a review of the Alien Gear holsters for you guys. Alright, I want to take a minute and show you what the uh the holster how it looks sitting in your pants. This is for the uh, the 85, the Taurus 85. Um, I did have to change the height adjustment on the holster here because the cylinder was down in my pants and it wouldn't put it was down like that. So you change the height adjustment there, and it seems to be okay. Um, I'm a big dude. Sometimes these these will print on me, but this one ain't, ain't so bad. I think I think it'll work. The uh, the leather isn't really sticking to me, and the handles, the handle on the gun, ain't really sticking to me either, so that's good. Um, I would say this this will work for thirty bucks. Yeah, it works pretty good. Um, I'll show you the other one real quick for the Glock. All right, guys, here I am with the uh, Glock 26 on. You know, it prints on me just a little bit, but not a big deal. Um, this one here, the leather does come up a little bit higher, so it does stick to you a little bit. But overall, I think. These holsters will work, and they get two of them, plus the uh, all plus the little piece you switch the plastic out for the Kydex for, and make it outside the waistband holster. I think for under a hundred bucks, that's 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 pretty good. All right, guys. After wearing these for a little while today and just seeing how they felt, this one here I wore into town. They're uh, they're not too bad. I think for the money, yeah, that's that's pretty good to get two holsters. And the uh, outside the waistband part for uh, ninety-seven dollars shipped, and I got it within six days, so that was that was great. Um, they do come with a little packet of hardware, which is little uh, spacers. You get the uh, Allen wrench in there. You get some extra bolts, some washers, stuff like that. Uh, the clips here, they're they're pretty stout. Um, so far, they seem to be all right. This one here, I had to make some adjustments too. Had to change the uh, ride height because the uh, cylinder was underneath the underneath my belt, and I couldn't get it out of my couldn't get the gun out. But so far they seem to be decent, so hopefully it stays that way. Um, I did just wear this around town a little bit today. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's kind of dinged up. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. Uh, I see a lot of good reviews on it, so hopefully hopefully it holds up. And uh, while I'm thinking about it. On this one here, you can see where the cylinder has already scraped that up. Um, so that, that kind of sucks. We'll see how that holds up. So I imagine another month or two after I've worn these extensively, I'll give you guys a full review of them and let you know whether they're worth it or not. Alright, thanks for watching guys.